course of his illustrious career, spanning over three decades, he enlisted into the Nigeria Defense Academy as a member of the 39th Regular Force, Combatant Force 1. He enlisted into the Nigerian Air Force as a member of the 39th Regular Force of the Nigerian Defense Academy. My name is Baba Jimmy Benton. I'm the House Committee Chairman on Defence. So what, what's your impression about the swearing in? It's good. Uh, we thank God uh, today happened. Decoration. Decoration, sorry. Decoration. We thank God for Mr. President. He looked through the armed forces and he chose the best of the best from each service. Uh, his choice also depicts uh, inclusion. No region is left out of this uh, exercise. And the good thing is that merit was placed on the front burner. So we have no doubt that we, it's a new dawn. We have no doubt that insurgency may be a thing of the past. Uh, we have no doubt that the ECOWAS issues we have may also be resolved because we have the right team with a focus and with synergy. They are all from the 39 course and we hope that Nigeria would witness a renewed hope that it truly deserves. But what would you be expecting? You are supposed to be the ones to oversight them. What exactly should Nigerians be expecting from you and from you? Firstly, um, we want to look critically at their welfare. Uh, we're going to ensure that the MAFA, which is uh, a code that determines the welfare of the armed forces, is rigorously implemented. And we're also going to see that um, we provide enough robust oversight and also um, adequate funds to procure hardware, software that they need. We also hope to ensure that local um, companies, uh, Daikon and Co, are given the teeth to be also participate in uh, supply of defense uh, hardware and software. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Uh, to, to us, it's an honor and a privilege to be appointed as the Chief of Defense Staff and with my service chiefs. Uh, just like you mentioned, the President was very, very emphatically clear as to for us to work as a team. I can tell you the Armed Forces of Nigeria is a team, and we are all team players. Uh, we've been together at the Academy since uh, 1987, we've been together. So we have worked, we know ourselves, we know our families. Uh, it was in the past that we had these issues and it was a personality thing. Ideally, the military shouldn't have any issue of um, working together as a team. So I can assure Nigerians that you have the best team ever and we're ready to work and we're hitting the ground running. So let's talk about the morale of uh, the men we have seen in the past. We have, seen, we have had complaints in the past about poor welfare and all of that. Even the men on the front line, we have seen some people gone um, viral about their issues of their welfare. What has changed and what is changing? Uh, well, to tell you the fact, I'm sure those videos you are seeing are very old videos. Of recent, you hardly ever hear any issue of welfare, shortage, non-payment of salaries. Every soldier is entitled to his pay and we ensure that they get their pay. The service chiefs are doing a wonderful job ensuring that the pays and allowances are received as at when due. Nobody is denied. We have gone beyond that to also include welfare packages. You, if you notice in the Northeast, we have even free flights for troops when they go on holidays. They are given two weeks pass to go. Those ones that are injured are treated fairly, are treated very well. Those that are going on retirement are receiving their benefits as at when due. So there is no any, explain, no any excuse for anybody to want to complain that uh, he's being shortchanged or he's not getting anything. So welfare is paramount and it's been taken care of. Morale is extremely very high. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you, man. Thank you.